In this chapter, we're going to talk a little about the additives used throughout the, the cannabis plant's growing cycle. Um, it could be used in any different part of the growing cycle. Mainly, they're just used in vegetative and flowering processes. But sometimes you'll want to add some additives to your cloning processes too. So we're going to start with all our micronutrients. Now these are very important. Um, a lot of the deficiencies that happen in a garden is from micronutrient deficiencies. Usually it's never, hardly ever, the, the main nutrients, which is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. But we have a bunch of micronutrient deficiencies, especially magnesium and calcium, things like that. So this is a, a micronutrient solution made by Earth Juice. Um, it has everything in it from manganese to boron to calcium to, to, to magnesium. Um, and this is a great supplement to use during pretty much all the phases, uh, you know, to make sure that you never run into those problems. Uh, imagine if uh, you never had vitamins, if you didn't take your vitamins every day and you were in a harsh environment, uh, you, your body would just have to fight and fight and fight to, to, to kind of stay alive. Well, same thing with, with cannabis plants. I mean, let's just say you want to make it easy for them as much as possible. And by doing that, you add these types of additives to it to make sure that they can always have the energy to produce. So this is, uh, you know, like I said, micronutrient solution made by Earth Juice. This is uh, what's called a, a cow mag mix. Uh, these are, they're very popular just because uh, magnesium and calcium are usually some of the biggest deficiencies that happen in the garden. Uh, the way they notice that is you'll notice tops, you know, going bad, uh, you know, things like that. It's very popular. Uh, a lot of people use these just because they have that supplement all the time and, they, and you'll never run into those deficiencies. So that's just designed for magnesium and calcium. However, this one has all the micronutrients in it, uh, which is good too. Uh, this is called B52. Uh, and there's also another one called Ossetonic made by Green Planet Wholesale. Uh, but there it's a B vitamin supplement. I mean essentially, you know, if you're working out Same thing. You're gonna have to take B vitamins. You're gonna have to take vitamins all the time Your fitness trainer will tell you to take those all the time just because it gives your body energy Same thing for plants. This gives them all the energy they need to be able to pr produce the big fat buds that they need to in the end um, It helps with facilitate all the processes moving starches and sugars from here to there moving chlorophyll chlorophyll from here to there photosynthesis all these processes are augmented by these types of vitamins and nutrients. Um, B52 is really good. Um, when you use it in the vegetative stage, you'll notice that your, your stems will, will thicken up really tight. Uh, your plants will be nice and juicy and healthy. Um, adding this or Ossetonic to, a, a, to, to your regular uh, nutrient solution is, is what you're supposed to do. You don't want never want to use this standalone. Uh, you, you add it to your nutrient solution. However, when you do add any type of additive to your nutrient solution, you want to make sure that your parts per million is down on your, on, on your, on your base nutrient solution to make sure you equate for everything. Same thing with soil. Um, because soil has nutrients already in it, uh, but they're just organic nutrients. So when you go and feed you know, high quality nutrients to that, uh, your, your levels may go up or down, but you can't tell until it's actually going through its process because they, they need to break down first. And that's the reason why soil is, is recommended for beginners because you're able to actually you know, give it straight water and that's all you need to do. But when you mix it, it takes a little bit more of an advanced user to actually get it to where it levels out and you don't burn your plants. Okay, so this is a fertilizer booster. This is cow mag mix. This is micronutrient. And we also have something called a snowstorm. And what this does is they actually make the nutrients uptake faster. So the problem with these is, is a lot of people think, okay, so if I can nutrient uptake faster, then I want to add more nutrients to it. Wrong. You don't want to do that. You want to add as least amount of nutrients as possible to these just for the fact that you'll burn your plants up very quickly. They work really well um, and they actually add a, a really nice sugar coating over top of your buds and make them swell. But in the same sense, uh, adding too much nutrient solution, that will make them turn all brown. Um, so you want to be very careful about that. And there's, there's another thing about Purple Max too. A lot of people think that you know, this 
causes your plants to turn purple. Um, you know, actually it, it's happened in a couple cases, but it's not like guaranteed to turn your plants purple. Um, but it is guaranteed to make them really sugary and uh, really nice and big. I mean, it's got soluble, the soluble potassium is about three three percent, which is you know pretty high. Uh, but it, it definitely works really well when it comes to utilizing it at the end of the flowering stage. You want to use it towards the end, maybe like the last two weeks. Um, so all these nutrients together are, are all part of the additive family. Um, there's also stuff called uh, um, you know, bloom booster. There's also stuff called uh, you know, cool bloom. All these different types of bloom enhancers that you can use at the very end of the flowering cycle. Uh, most like some of these you can use throughout the whole tire, but most of them are at the very end, and they'll 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 indicate that at the, on the, on the package of the label. They'll tell you exactly when to use them. This kind of wraps it up for all the additives that you need to know about when it comes to growing the cannabis plant, and I'll see you in the next chapter.